Uh, my name is uh, David Baum. I'm Director of Business Development for Connected City Experience here at Philips Lighting North America. City Touch Control System is made up of two primary components. One, hardware that mounts in the field on the individual street lights. Second one is the City Touch uh, software system. And that's what I want to demonstrate a little bit about today. The uh, City Touch system allows a city, municipality, uh, utility, state department of transportation uh, to monitor and uh, control their exterior street lights. It gives them the ability to determine if they have faults, if they have problems with their system that they need to maintain. It allows them to be able to provide energy data as to how the system is performing, uh, provide energy data for billing purposes, and it also provides a means of being able to control and dim and take advantage of some adaptive lighting technologies. Uh, this is a demonstration site here for Washington, D.C. And one of the first things I'm going to do is take a look at uh, the energy tab here. So I'm just going to scroll in here. In this uh, map, you can scroll down and zoom in to any, any individual street that you have uh, within your jurisdiction. Uh, you get a good idea of what street lights that you have uh, within your uh, city. So you can maintain a asset management system. So in this case here, we had a fault of this street light here by this little red X that identifies it here. And down below it talks, provides a report that says in this particular location, uh, we now have that the low current was too low uh, based on the parameters that were established for this particular street light. And you can see here this little meter element here in each of these individual street lights kind of shows you that we're monitoring the energy at each one of these street lights. And if I just click on one of these street lights, I can take a look at over the last uh, year, for example, how much energy this street light has consumed. So you can see from the summertime where you're having uh, more daytime hours uh, to the wintertime, you can see the change in the total amount of energy being used. Uh, you can easily export this uh, to a Excel file so you have a complete record of all your street lights. You can also do this uh, by a zone, you can do it by individual lights, you can do it as a city as a whole. So again, this gives the uh, uh, city a way of, um, of identifying how much energy they're using. Uh, one of the other key elements here uh, relates to the way in which you can manage your street light assets. Uh, it gives you all the information you need uh, to be able to determine what type of street light you have at any one location so that if you have a knockdown, you have a light that goes out, you can easily refer back to this database and so that you, when you go into the field to deploy, you have the right uh, material uh, to deploy at that time. Uh, one of the other feats in, that you have here is the fault feature that I mentioned earlier. So just in uh, example here, this is a fault of a street light here that kind of shows that in this example here, the load current was too low. So that might give you an indication that there's something happening to your electrical circuit so you can go out and, uh, and maintain it uh, properly. This is uh, showing, I'm going to demonstrate here, our dimming capabilities and the way in which we can control individual street lights. Uh, this is a demonstration showing uh, uh, we have three street lights uh, and what I've done is I've simulated these out on the street outside of the Javits Center here. Uh, with this uh, system, we can individually uh, control uh, each of the street lights. I'm going to do this first by uh, clicking on the street light here and go down to this dimming tab here. And I'm going to go into a manual mode. And with this, I'm going to go say right now the street light is off. And I'm going to tell the street light to turn itself on. So I'm going to say go to 100%. And once I click this button here, what's happening here is through my user interface here on the internet is going over to our uh, cloud server over in Europe. It's coming back to the US through the cellular network. And as soon as I hit OK, uh, it is going to then send an individual signal uh, to this street light here to turn itself on. Again, this is uh, happening real time. The information is going over to Europe, coming back over here to the US. Uh, through the cellular network and the street light now is turned on. With this system, 
not only manually control, but we can set up individual calendars. So with this tab, if I click on the energy savings tab here, you can set up individual dimming cycles depending on the day of the week, month of the year, special events. And with this, you can then establish, say, a nighttime dimming curve if you don't need as much illumination uh, during off-peak hours. You can easily edit the dimming curve by going into the dimming uh, editor and you can easily adjust the dimming profile to whatever you might want on any given day or night. Thank you for your interest and for more information please visit philips.com.